Hello everyone. Welcome to the another episode of database related things. Yeah. Today I'm going to do I'm going to uh, integrate Copilot, uh, which is uh, Microsoft recently released for SSMS twenty one, which is the latest one, with uh, SQL Server. In order to do that, you should have uh, the Management Studio latest version. So if you are if you don't have Management Studio la latest version, so I'll I did a video to download it from the web, so you can use that video for that. And uh, also, mm, you need a Azure account. So I will show you how to integrate Copilot with SQL Server 2025. By the way, guys, here I'm using SQL Server to, uh, 2025 as a separate instance. So here you can see it. Let me show you. Uh, So this is SQL Server 2025 Developer Enterprise Developer Edition. Yeah. So let's do that. First thing you have to do, you have to log into your Azure portal. Once you log in, so it will show you this window, your Azure portal. So here you can see that uh, Azure OpenAI uh, service because I recently used that service. So, so if you are new to, uh, I mean new to the service, what you have to do is you have to click on create service. Then you can uh, select this Azure OpenAI service here. Once you select, so you have to enter a few details in this window. So I'm going to create a new resource for my this integration. So I'm going to create it like uh, open AI 2025. Then Okay, and uh, I'm going to use Regis as default. So my name for this service would be hmm. and use your pricing trial tier here. Uh, and if you if you are new to Azure, so you can claim two hundred uh, USDs credit from the Azure, and uh, hit next. So then uh, it will bring you to this uh, section, I would say. And here you don't need to change anything. Leave it as defaults. All network, including the internet, can access this resource. Then hit ne uh, next, uh, you don't need to put any tags here. Then uh, yeah, it's running final validations. Then hit create. So it will take uh, some time to create uh, this service. Uh, you can see in these notification sections so it says deployment succeed so now you can access open ai azure open ai services here so once you click on that service you can uh, see here the uh, resource that i create uh, called 
uh, open ai 2025 sms and once you click on this so under the resource management so you can see keys and in point so these are the keys we'll need you to uh, you know to the integrations of uh, copilot into the uh, SSMS 21 so before you do that what you have to do is you have to click here and you have to create a model so here you can see explore and deploy uh, things so once you click on explore Azure AI foundry portal so it will bring up uh, bring you up to this window let it load so yeah once you move into this window so what you have to do is you have to go to the deployment so here you can see deployment click on deployment so here we are going to deploy a model right now with these uh, versions sql server uh, copilot only support for uh, gpt4 or model so what you uh, click click on that uh, de deployment model and deploy base model here then you can see gpt for o this model so this model only support right now with copilot up to now i don't know what will happen so then hit confirm yeah it will ask a deployment name so you need that with this name as well and hit deployment okay uh, we all set now so now we have to go to uh, SSMS and then click on this icon. So here you can see Copilot with SSMS 21. If you can't find it here, I recommend you to click on Tools and go to the Options. And uh, under the Copilot, here's uh, you can put the settings for the copilot so i'm going to click on this then it will ask azure open ai endpoints and uh, this is that like i show you before this is the endpoint this is the endpoint where you can find right and Azure op open AI development right which means you have to copy this name so this is the development name of the model which we create and uh, put it here the azure open ai deployment and uh, then copy the key from here and put it there and launch copilot
All right, so it will load here. So let's do some script with copilot. So create a database. So, SQL press DB in default settings. Now, So once you hit enter, you can see something called created by copilot in SSMS. Preview carefully before executing. Okay, I'm going to review it. and I execute so you can see here the database script uh, successfully executed in here but this is not the thing so this is very easy one so you can do it with the uh, this interface as well now let's assume um, that we want to create our test table in here okay uh, let's try that as well create test file okay create five test tables for student management system and insert 10 records so this table So here you can see, so once you finish, you can hit hit insert, it will come to here. So I did a mistake here. What you have to do is you have to, uh, you know, uh, create a new query window and uh, put it here. Uh, you can with at sign, you can sit, uh, select your query window to here then it will automatically insert your new query window and here you can see so you can create uh, these five tables on the database which we create boom okay then i'm going to remove this one and let's see how it's work okay Seems good to me. Let's execute. Okay. If you expand the table sections here, so you can see our select top hundred rows. 
Oh, there, there you go. You can see the uh, the sample data which we insert to the tables, oh, which means very easy to use. Okay, let's find out uh, with some example and the cool way to use Copilot uh, with a new video. Thank, thank you so much for watching, and uh, please do subscribe. Uh, to my channel yeah have a nice day bye guys